You see, the kitchen is a wonderful place, a place where you not only can exercise your culinary excellence, but also exercise that creative muscle. So when given ingredients like a mushroom and a tuna, what do you do? Yeah, well, you make a uh, mushroom stuffed with baked tuna. Well, bake all of it together. That's why yes. Zola's here. And she's going to be showing us how to make this wonderful recipe that she just made up yep. um, using Woolies Certified Tuna, which is lion caught and, uh, of course, dolphin safe too. Absolutely. So, yeah, so it's sustainably caught, which mm -hmm. is why... We encourage using it. And a great one to add to your diet going into winter because you get lots of protein from there. So especially if you're trying to get that uh, summer body in the winter, you're right. working out tuna. Get lots of that into your diet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it starts with the mushrooms. So these are brown mushrooms, um, also called mushroom steaks sometimes. Okay. Um, and what we've done is some fresh thyme, salt and pepper, a bit of olive oil, then roasted them for about 20 minutes. Okay. okay? Then Watching them every now and then so they don't burn. Just... No, they'll be all right. For yeah. 20 minutes, they should be all right. Yeah, 180 degrees. 180. 180. Yeah, yeah take good. them out. Okay, so they're, they're half cooked at this point, and now we're going to make the tuna stuffing. Okay. Okay, so it starts with some tuna. Open another tin for me. I'll Here do we that. go. Careful, don't spill it on yourself because then you'll that smell always like, happens to you'll be. Smell like tuna all day. Okay, so then um, I'm gonna put this this tin in here uh -huh. now. Um, and I like to use the one in, in brine, um, but you can use the one in, in oil as well. Some yes. people enjoy that flavor. Okay, so drain that liquid off for okay. me. I was about to ask, do you use the water at all or the. the I, I don't, oil? just because I don't want this um, filling to be very liquid. So I, I sort uh, of drain, drain it. Okay, so yeah. here we've got some coriander, or you could use parsley, and then some chopped spring onions as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, going in with the tuna, a bit of feta cheese. Would like some more tuna in there? I would, indeed, okay, yeah. Okay. You know, if you're going to make something tuna flavoured, you, oh, you must it's go... look at that. It's so neatly cut. I, I love that, yeah. It's like chunks. It's not It's not sort of <laughs> shredded. It's it's chunky. All right, here you go. Okay, so that goes in. Lovely. Just like that. Just like that, okay. And then um, watch it with the salt because this one is um, brined, so yes, we don't need... Okay, so yes. I'm going to switch over to you and you're going to mix for me. So I this is some cream you. cheese. And all of this is going to go into our It's going our to go into our mushrooms. Going to go into our mushrooms. Yeah, so we can be generous with the pepper. Because the um, salt is already Yeah, there. but go easy with, um, obviously, the, salt. Yeah, the I, salt. Like you said, never trust a chef who doesn't taste while they cook. So taste all throughout your mixing process so Absolutely. that you know exactly where yeah. it all is at. Oh, look at that. Isn't that you know, This already? is now where me being the lazy chef that I am, mm -hmm. after doing this, would eat the entire bowl just like this. Why not? You could actually just add some pasta to this and you've got like a tuna pasta salad. Boom. Put it into a sandwich with some cheese and you've got a tuna melt. Options are endless. Okay, have so, a taste. Just yeah, have a taste. Have Hello. a taste. There we go. Then you can tell me if there's enough seasoning for you. Yeah. Is it good? Mmm. Mmm. No, it's good. Okay. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so pile on the tuna on top of the um, cooked mushrooms, go just right like ahead. this. And you can get, you know, really big mushroom steaks and then you can, you know, serve one per portion or you can serve two or three. This is like an entire meal. It you is. You can have this as a meal. Absolutely. Yeah. Shoo. Simple as that. Okay. Uh, if you've just tuned in, we're making uh, tuna stuffed mushrooms or baked. How do I say the recipe name is? It's a tuna stuffed baked mushrooms. Oh my goodness, English. Okay. <laughs> English never loved me. <laughs> English <you>. never loved <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, so this is just some um, breadcrumbs on the top. If you're doing the carb clever thing, don't worry about the breadcrumbs. You don't need to use them. Okay. You could just put some maybe some parmesan cheese on top mm -hmm. if you're not against cheese and fish. It's up Fantastic to you. stuff. Okay, so, so back in the oven and then bring out the ones that are cooked for so me. So you SMS tuna to 33728. Here's a quick recap while I put this into the oven. Listen to that sizzle, fresh out of the oven, looking absolutely beautiful. Oh, delicious, right? I'm pretty sure this is something that that um, children might also love. Like it's, I it's think very so. interesting to look at. It's mm. you know, and you don't necessarily think that that's a vegetable. Yeah. And there's lovely chunks of tuna meat there. 
It's a great cheese. thing to, to serve to pesco vegetarians because, you know, sometimes... What's a pesco vegetarian? A vegetarian that eats fish. Okay. Um, because the mushroom is quite meaty and substantial. Mm -hmm. And then the tuna, they're, it's safe for them to eat because they're not going to eat red meat. So you can serve your meat-eating friends a steak and you can serve your pescatarians. This is absolutely Stuffed beautiful. Mushroom. Look at that. SMS tuna to 33728. Zola, you are a creative genius. Oh, thanks, guys. Love your work all the time. <laughs> Get in there. Uh -uh. I'm not falling for that ever again.